Okay, let's continue with the Nerds and Crowds quest. Uh, yeah, back there. Mm. Uh, I hope this won't take way too much time. Yeah, but that is long, right? Solve Mamir's quest, of Anne's quest, then all of Peter Pillar's quest. I know that. I think. Yeah, I think it's longer than the Arkham quest was. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, see here. Okay. Right, Ignus, Paimon, you're back. You bet we are. Have you found anything new in the meantime? Mr. Caterpillar, I have been doing some research. Oh, and? We discovered that Samer doesn't, in fact, have an annihilation mode. Following data fragment. Sorting, please. This phrase was found to have been derived from the novel Prisoner 6 Overrun. In that book, the org World Organization launched a mass annihilation agent to hunt a chimera down. Wait, that stuff's not important at all. Apart from using our free time to go out and investigate, we've also read book through the books collected here one more time. We couldn't make heads or tails of them at first, and even now, well, they certainly are well written. Uh, I don't know uh, whose handwriting it is, or what scribe or copist was hired, but their penmanship is clear and clearly beautiful. A master calligraphy if I ever saw one. Wait, so you were talking about the handwriting? If I'm gonna be thinking about this already, did you not find anything during this time, then? Uh, Alright, sorry, I shouldn't chase any further. As you know, we told you all that we found the last time without holding anything back. However, I fear that this time there are some clues hidden in details that we must rely on chance to reveal. Chance? You the meaning you mean? Chance? Indeed, for example, you know for the revelation concerning a murder emerge, then the blood on a painting will always remain a red smear. Then what would this chance be, Caterpillar? Well, why don't we do a quick recap of everything we discovered? Let's make some deductions regarding what happened in the past that might give us the opportunity to fill in the gaps that can help us support or refute our views. That's a good idea, I always felt like there's so much about this that's familiar, but I can't recall anything about it. Negative, I can give continuous account of the resources that I have sorted. Oh, silly dog, you don't only recover your creator's name. Didn't you only recover your creator's name after talking to us about the matter? Can you noise? Negative, I merely matched similar sounds during said interaction. There was no data loss involved. However, I must append that I too find that keyword searches make searching for angels more efficient. So, what do we want to discuss? Well, for a bit of a warm up or teaser, if you would, um, you may be referring to a heater. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. So, let's start off our deductions with some something simple. What is the the Mary Ann in the Anapausis, exactly. Hmm. That Mary Ann holds the greatest secret of all. I'm sure you can see that too. Let's get ourselves some armchairs. Maybe crack open a few beers. Oh wait, you can't drink yet. Anyway, let us help you sort our findings out. I'll start first. Uh, well, the name Mary Ann itself certainly is familiar to me. The name of the person I was meant to protect is Miriam, yes, but I have no data regarding the identity of the one who resides within Anapolis. We are missing context. 
uh, I can only conclude based on humans a modified lifespan that they are not the same person. That will seem to be the case, huh? It's been a few hundred years after all. Well, as for Paimon, she ate chicken skewer this morning. Uh, I guess it's my turn. You mentioned before that you encountered unseen creatures that had a great deal of character. One might even say personality. And every one of them had. Even this one, with you here. The precondition for such creatures and their characters is the same that an intelligent Ocenid has already understood their original forms beforehand. So, were you the one who willed those creatures into being, and... Uh, don't you think that it's kind of weird, you know, so many familiar friends to play house with you for who knows how long and stuff? Well, I didn't do that. I actually had to get to know Petit Cho, Al, and all the others first. Well, then in that case, let's see what we can deduce from the things we already know. Then let's begin. Let me think back what's happened. Let's think back. Got it. Let me know if you can be assistance anyway. Okay, that's just for me to wait. Have a question for me? Could you refresh my memory on what happened previously? Hmm. I've forgotten certain details, I'm just a little odd in it, so explaining every little thing may be behind me. Anyway, I was determined to rescue Petit Cho when we first met. Luckily, Paimon and you helped. Later on, we intended to rescue Princess Lyris and defeated the evil dragon, but we met Marianne. She told us things I couldn't understand, and it seemed like she was holding on to something very, some very important secret. Okay, help me, Mr. Ignus. Comment. Recall what happened before. Of course, you repaired me inside Elena's. I was only capable of repeating a fixed set of lines up until then. No, oh, Pamela remembers something like that. That was outrageous. Please forgive me. It was a necessary measure to preserve my internal storage. Forget it. Even Mamir forgave you. So we have no right to stay angry. Mamir. I wonder how she's doing. My long term memory module frequently requests updates on her f for her file. I'm trying to say you miss her. That is not imprecise. After that, we thwarted the schemes of Jacob of the Narcissus Cross Ordo. And I must find my ward, Miss Marianne. I shall be going with you. Yeah, but you already mentioned that you are aware she wouldn't be alive due to human life spans. Okay, catch your killer. Are you ready now, or do you have any questions for me? Uh, I just thought so. You should talk to us first. Tell me about what happened previously. Uh, you didn't go ahead and save the world while we split up to investigate now, did you? We actually did, yeah. A lot has happened indeed. It's no wonder you've forgotten what we went through together. I just, of course, maybe you're just tired and it's eluding you for now. To put it simply, we met in the fortress of Mirror Peach and you helped me rescue Lanoir. And now, it's my turn to help. I just thought of something. What? I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I'll have to think. Uh, about Anne? Anne's a small Ocenid. She didn't create the Ocenid creatures in Anaposis. Yeah, that didn't seem to be the case. Speaking of, just how do Ocenids reproduce again? Well, they didn't tell me, but uh, Novlet said they kind of wish upon the fountain, and that's like a ritual for for them. They also need end. And it's far too weak to control the whole realm, she, so she can be the only one behind it all. The Ocean creatures in the pauses. Ocenids are sentient creatures unique to Fontaine. And they are and they can create Ocean creatures through mimicry and transformation. I remember all the strange and wonderful Ocean creatures we saw before we met Marianne. They are Ocenids in the pauses. Maybe Ozio can create water creatures. 
but it's extraordinary to be able to imagine creatures with rich personalities. I don't remember was I created. I, I don't remember that fight. It's almost certain that... I mean, I remember the can only the thing, but I don't really remember what happened in the field. Uh, it's almost certain that there's an announcement in the Anapause is controlling everything. Who can she be? Uh, by more it's more chicken versus Kiro, it's cooler. Uh, at the risk of missing major plot twists or important foreshadowing, I don't think this is related to Anne's background either. Uh, the name Marianne. And say the name sound familiar. I should ask her about it. Should something come to mind? So same or she's someone that he must protect. Either way, ordinary humans don't live that long. It's been several hundred years, so there's they're probably not a person, right? The Mary Ann and the pauses. The Mary Ann and the pauses seems very mysterious. We once suspected that Anne was a character from her dreams. Okay, what I'm figuring out now is what was obvious from the beginning that the Mary Ann is a. is a. what's in it? The new Mac Mary Ann. Marianne, who has the same name as Samer's owner, and who seems to know everything, even if she's not an Ocenid, she's probably related to the Ocenid behind all of this. Wasn't that obvious from the beginning? That's enough for now, more than enough for warm-up. Correct, the oddities in Anapolis all point to the powers of the Ocenids. But this is not Miss Anne's doing, uh, all of this together means there's another us and in the pauses. Yeah. That is what I suspect. An us and with whom Mary Ann has a close relationship. Or perhaps she could even be the princess herself. But she did say she wasn't, right? So I don't think she is. Uh, do you mean that Mary Ann may in fact be Princess Lyris? Yes, Laris, um, the Red Empress of the Narcissian Cross Order from back then. The Red Empress who loved to take heads. But what's the Mary and um, take heads? Good. I seem to have vague recollection of something like that. Whoa. But it's not a story about here, so rather it's a fair tale about someone named Marianne. Yes, the taking heads thing is just a metaphor. There's made a pure pu water, so has the ability to dissolve and extract people's wills. The artisan cross order use her to extract the ego and become holy. Searching for the keyword layers has yielded relevant information in my instance. Uh, Talking to the talking of the Red Empress has reminded me of a few things about Marianne. Move over a while first, then speak to Miss Anne Seymour. See if the conclusion you reach awakens any new memories. Uh, Ignis, I remember the name Marianne. Oh, do tell. It's familiar to me because it's from a children's story, the, name, the same one that the Red Empress comes from. The female lead, Lidel, was mistaken for Marianne, the servant, and Marianne never appeared throughout the entire story. Maybe Marianne never really existed except as a pigment in someone's dreams. How do you know about this story, Anne? And isn't that a good question? How do I know about it? The memory feels more vivid than those I have of the story of the evil dragon, Narcissus. Short summarizing entries regarding lyrics I possess for you too. Alright. Omitting the standard citation format, reconstructing outputs to match format, report superiors. This is a registered Ocenid. She is not eligible to be stationed in the waters outside Fontaine and has become 
a special source of information for the nation. She was appointed as the director of an orphanage to symbolize the love and affection of the previous Hydro Oracle. Shouldn't we ask Farina or Novelet about that? Maybe they know something. The orphanage's affairs were mainly managed by its human vice director. An orphanage director? Then how is she connected to the nurses in Cross Ordu? As director, there was a very affectionate towards the children and quite devoted to them. But her intelligence among Ossinids was below average. She wasn't very good at working out on the cause of effects of things. Uh, nor could she even count. As a result, she was not qualified to perform covert investigations. Now, oh, sounds kinda like big old cat mom who can count. You know, because cats can count, so they pick up their kitten one by one and keep going back until they see there aren't any kittens left. I didn't know that. Cat. After picking the last one, they would come back to see if there is... there's none. Later, the orphanage was destroyed during the calamity and official records of her stopped there. They say she failed to understand the link between the disaster, the orphans fleeing, and her own conduct, so she wanders the, wanders the ruins, drowning in guilt and exploitation. I have an underwater locomotion module. Once Marianne and I dove down to the ruins of the orphanage, whose coordinates were the same as those of Anapalsis. There we found an Ocenid swimming sadly in circles. When she next appeared in the records, she was a core member of the Narcissa Cross Ordo and the subject of a high priority arrest warrant. Oh, but she doesn't seem to be a bad person. Considering that she may be connected to Anne, she must have been tricked. Ah, yes, there's another important piece of information worth noting. The orphanage's name was the Narcissa Cross Institute. Narcissa Cross. These are all the Marshalsi Phantom files that Mr. Allen Guillotine recorded for testing light sensitivity while designing me. Huh? The output is via the image to text speech module. According to eyewitnesses, the testimony regarding who I suspect to be Lyris, there shouldn't be any problems. And you may have heard of this elsewhere, but it's worth mentioning again. Ellen and Mary Ann were orphans. Uh, hang on, is it Mary Ann? His daughter? In the care of the Resistance Cross Institute before the Marshall's hunter, Emmanuel Guillotine, took them in. Ah. Thank you, Seymour. Don't mention it, noble sir. Noble sir. Well, it feels like you've changed a lot since we met in the Fortress of Mirapit Caterpillar. Would a 5 year old child and a 15 year old teenager be the same? Perhaps returning here simply reminds me of the past and of who I used to be. Time is frozen in the fortress. Being locked up there for a day or a hundred years, I'm afraid it made no difference to me. Lanora is what made time flow for me. Watching her grow reminded me that time still passes, and life still is still being born, shining brightly, and then being extinguished. And so I changed as well. That said, my past self, the person I was before I met her, would certainly be more helpful to Anne and Seymour in our current situation. That's true. <laughs> Don't be like that, Paimon. Just think about it. Making up stories for Lanoir was nothing more than putting such ways of thinking to good use. Regardless, it has nothing to do with the current situation. You look like you still have questions, yes? Since we have our own suspicions about Anne and Lyra's relationship, we have topics to discuss that can be used to refute or sustain those conjectures. How do Ossinids reproduce? I'm sure you have friends more knowledgeable than I am regarding that. 
perhaps you can even find scholars of natural philosophy who have dedicated research to the question. Or you could have asked the Ossinids you know personally, but you asked me. Of course, I know what you mean, so this is your speculation, I see. Pam doesn't get it. When we exchanged information earlier, it was mentioned that Anne is a person in Mary Anne's dream. Or perhaps she might be a manifestation made by Mary Ann, an Ossinid Ossinid. Ossinid Ossinid, why the repetition? I'm just trying to make it sound cuter. Apologies, perhaps my description was ill done. Still, can an Ossinid create an Ossinid creature version of an Still, can an Ossinid create an Ossinid creature version of an Ossinid? Well, wow, that's deep. That's like asking if hard candies can be used to fill as a filler for another hard candy. And so, what would you say to that? This question was really interesting, but Paimon's are already hungry for answers. I suppose I have to say, I suppose so. Still, you may not realize just how deep this rabbit hole goes, so let me explain. Do tell. You might be confused as to why there are Ossinid creatures with, the, with personalities in the Anapolis. If Ossinids can create Ossinid creatures, then can they create Ossinid humans or Ossinid Ossinids? Convention dictates that it's rare for Ossinids to be able to mimic a human, unless a human draws in their arms, or the Ossinid has spent extensive time with a person and knows everything about them. And the Ossinid in question must have also have uh, tremendous wisdom and compassion. I'm afraid perhaps only one as powerful as Rodea could do it. No, we met a few. Oh, so that means Idea must be incredibly strong. Uh, it's so rare to mimic humans, but not impossible. No. Ah, Idea was the one from the event. So that line of dialogue was because we completed it. Uh, so it's rare to mimic humans, but not impossible. Now creating another Ossini, that's different. Creating humans using human knowledge can only be achieved by gods. And the same applies to Ossinids creating Ossinids. Uh, it usually should be impossible, in this world at least. No, but what about when humans reproduce? That's not the gods making it. Can't the Ossinids reproduce somehow as well? I get it that that's probably not the case with N here, but... Unless, unless this human or Ossinid has already placed themselves above their own kind and attempted such insanity. You mean they thought they had become a god? That's right. Followers blindly believed their, in their leaders, who in turn blindly believed in themselves, giving rise to delirium and delusions. I can do what a god can do, their deeds are not that great after all. A powerful belief is also a powerful will, and magic is a skill that molds reality to your will. Perhaps the descendant hypothesis makes more sense? Perhaps Marianne doesn't consider herself an Ossini type. Uh, perhaps, perhaps, it's possible and quite understandable too. If nothing else, the Lyrus I know doesn't have this kind of intelligence, nor would she be this crazy. I have some less mainstream ideas about how Ossini is reproduced, but they are not important and we can discuss them later. Now let's reorganize the information that everyone just recalled. This might take some time and might be somewhat hard on our throats. I'm ready. So regarding Alain's younger sister Marianne, the Anapausis Marianne, and the Red Empress Lyrus and Anne who's with us. What will our conclusion be? How will we sustain it? And how shall we refute it? Everyone gathers. Is there anything else you feel we should add? 
as I mentioned before, Marianne is not the only princess in Anne's story, but she is also the person I must protect. She is the younger sister of Aline Guillotine and the one who designed me, okay. As for matters concerning me, I suppose you already know all about them, ladies. Speaking of which, didn't we also hear all sorts of stuff while we were in Elinus? Seymour was also damaged during that time. How did it go? Do you think of anything? Was the damage to Seymour in Elinus? Oh, the Empress just in the end. The damage? That's right, Seymour was damaged inside Elinus and Mamir is being taken care of him. To my shame, yes, though I do not have such emotions, you can see it as me having lowered my assessment of myself. And according to Alinus, the battle that occurred within his body ended quite terribly. Evidently, that was the battle that damaged you, and it was an incredibly fierce one. But considering that you were damaged, their master might have been... Common say dictates that the fate of Mary Ann Guillotine, sister of Alan Guillotine, was most likely a green one. Uh, but this world is full of tales of loyal knights who exchanged their lives for a miracle. So you needn't grieve too much, Seymour. Seymour appears to have entered that a fragment sword in Mose out of pure sh shock. But your master Marianne was an ordinary human being, wasn't she? And the time that has passed since then far surpassed the lifespan of any human. How do you go? Do you think of anything? The Red Emperor's Lures. She was an important figure in the Narcissus Cross Ordo, and she is also the other Ossian involved in the tale apart from Miss Anne. One of the only two Ossianids, and, and we also just agreed that we believe there must be an Ossian behind Anapolis. But her traits don't match those of the Marianne we encountered. Could it be that Lyra's imagination was behind everything, even me? That's unlikely, Seymour mentioned that her intelligence was quite limited, so phantoms of this sort would be quite hard for her. Similar to how an author would struggle to write a character more intelligent than themselves. But you can train intelligence, can't she have become smarter over the years? In fairy tales, the kitten may dream of, of their living little master. But I fear such things don't happen much in real life. So who is behind all this? And who in the world is that Marianne? How did it go? Do you think of anything? Do you also Anne? Uh, what about me again? We won't suspect that you might be the person that Marianne dreamed of. So in your view, Marianne is the Ossian behind the curtain, yes? I don't know. Well, then, do you find the name Lyrus familiar? She is, after all, the only Ossian involved in the subplot apart from yourself. If you mean the title The Red Empress, then yes, I do have some impression of it. I'm going to think of anything. The Marianne and the Pauses. That makes her our prime suspect, then. To be honest, were you using the process of elimination? You actually already guessed as much long ago. I didn't want to disrespect Anne, though. You're right, but you do already have a version of the story in your heart, your own interpretation, yes? If that's the case, then we should go find the Marianne and see for ourselves. Please permit me to change the topic for a moment. Does this mean that I shall no longer be able to fulfill my orders to protect Marianne? Probably. We've worked out this much, and that's the only bit you care about. Uh, it may be cruel, but from the moment we discovered that the guillotine siblings were from centuries ago, it was probably inevitable. Correction, so the conclusion would be that it was my incompetence that exposed Marianne to danger. We don't know, she may just have died of old age. Probably not, but maybe. Do not blame yourself, you have fought to the point of destruction. You have done your part. 
There's no need to be so pessimistic either. Uh, though that is another thing to say to a machine. Yes, it's like pouring Fonta into a sink and then saying, Sink, you'll get fat if you keep drinking like this. Oh, <laughs> for a CV of seven. I can't believe you remember that. Uh, what is it, Mr. Caterpillar? Why use my official designation? We may not have reached any conclusions, but we now know what to do next. Look, there is a Marianne in Apostles too, and she also has close links to the Narcissus Cross Ordo. My long-term memory model confirms this. As such, there is no need to restore a logic module to factor settings yet. Let's take a step back. We can still go and find this Marianne. Thank you for your logical troubleshooting and emotional adaptive maintenance. I think what you said makes sense. It is not yet time to admit defeat and restore myself to my initial settings in order to take on a new version. Mission. Yeah, that's right, you silly dog. Uh, let's leave things here for a while then. Once you are ready, we can continue. Uh, why don't you go find this Marianne? Let's solve that mystery before ta tackling the Narcissus Cross Order issue. I uh, concur to the Fairtail Water World. Mm, I get it that some things happening over here, over there then. Uh, we just run into immunity related issues, often due to night in this hydro resonance, that's all. Paimon feels like some extraordinary instinct awakening you after you met Seymour and... It is time to review responsibilities and apportion blame. I do not think I should be held accountable, for I can only override my protective prerogative in moments of great danger. Don't worry, Inus, we'll make Marianne tell us everything this time. So shall we go then? There was a colossal waste of time. We could, from the beginning, if we could just go there and talk to her, why didn't we? They explained the story a little better, but it was the same conclusion we had from the beginning. But here already, don't have to go to a book. We're back again. This time I must marry Anne. That's the spirit, Miss Anne. In truth, I must confess to being somewhat jealous of you. Hmm? You still hold out hope of recovering your past. I've been searching for centuries, but I haven't found a thing. So please, do your best for this old caterpillar's part as well, alright? Figure your past out and come to accept your present self. Yep, I will. Oh, they're back. Oh, what are these guys doing here again? Oh, wait, isn't that Al's group? Oh, yes, it is us. And you are the innocent Paimon. It's really good to see you. So good that I can't control myself anymore. Please, dodge to the best of your ability. Uh, she asked us to send you a message. Now, let me take out her handwritten letter with my hands, which are much like yours, yellow and white ones. Uh, I don't want to hear your stories, I prefer my version. Oh. This is order! They were friends. And the bubble that was here before is gone too. Well, it was Princess Lear's magic. That's just how the story goes. Let me think of a way. 
Close your eyes, everyone. A temporary optical sensor shutdown. Understood. They will be reactivated on your command. Wait, why do you have to do that? The essence of a mime is pretense. The charade that something is still there. A belief is the heart of magic. The faith that there is meaning here. So let's close our eyes. So and begin imagining what it would look like if the bubble was still here. Hmm. Huh. You close your eyes and feel some sort of fluctuation. I prefer the story of the Narcissus and Cross Adventure team sitting down happily for tea time after their adventure has ended. Wow, it really have appeared. The order called the step. The process of imagining something in such detail. Imagining. Let's go over and have a look. It's the anchors that disappeared this time. And do you know to do you know to make the portal? Can you do your imagining thing on it? All right, let me give it a try. You close your eyes, and a lot of silence comes over you. But everyone's left; they won't come back, no matter how long I wait. I can't. It seems. Wait, why? How are we supposed to see Marianne then? I suspect that this is because the portal has lost meaning and thus cannot be recreated. From what you told me before, the entrance that was once placed here led to a story that had to yet to be written. So now that she has said everything she wanted to do, the story no longer has any meaning. Marianne is rejecting our answer. And that is why the way is the way in is shut. Does this mean we are going to return empty-handed? It does seem so. I wouldn't say we are completely out of luck. You know something we did then, Nainus? I heard something while Anne was imagining. Imagine. I didn't hear something then. I did hear something then, so you can hear it too. Would that be Marianne's real thoughts? Why did you two hear? Uh, it might be best not to discuss personal secrets here. The walls might have ears and all. And uh, let's head back before talking about this. Well, aren't we discussing her thoughts? So she knows what she thought. So, could you tell us what you heard? Perhaps a Hiltro might hear something that humans and Ossinus will not. Just as how dogs and humans differ in that regard. I must correct your statement. My other components can indeed pick up higher and lower frequencies compared to humans. However, I am not a dog. Moreover, a dog's low frequency hearing is similar to that of a human. That's so. Well, I was talking about real dogs, not you. A silly dog. That said, I didn't think you would hear it too, Inus. I wonder if we heard the same thing. But everyone left. He won't come back, no matter how long I wait. Looks like we heard the same thing. I suspect that this was the inner voice of Marianne. Did she say anything else? Uh, I'm not trying to invade anyone's privacy or anything. I just think that we're onto something here. If you mention these words, Inus. Let me think. After that, I also heard something like I prefer the story of the Narcissus Cross Adventure team sitting down happily for tea. Time after time, uh, happily for tea time after their adventure has ended. And then. 
I don't want to hear stories, I prefer my my version. I have noticed something I'm off about this. Please state your case. Uh, let's think our own thoughts through first. Perhaps we really might be able to come to some conclusion. Come on, why so much dialogue? Just tell me what you want. Is there anything else you want to say? Oh, I'm just an Ocini who doesn't know anything, and I'm really bad at thinking. Even if you just told me a random story, I still believe it all. Hook, line, and sinker. The world is too complicated after all, and I'm not experienced enough to spot any holes. I wouldn't do that. Thank you, Nekinus. I think that the Marianne in Anapausis is the same as me. She might look smart, but she doesn't want to accept this complicated world, so she chose to protect herself in fairy tales. But even fairy tales must end. We're sorry, I may be unable to offer any logical support at this time. My listening equipment cannot hear inner voices. Don't worry, you have playing already. Could you tell me your assessment? Is the Marianne for an opposite person I meant to protect or not? I don't think she is. I trust her judgment, however. I prefer to start the NCC Corazon. It seems that she too was an orphan from the NCC Corazon Institute. But other relevant information cannot be matched to her. Logical error, data fragments are initiated. You don't seem to want to link the two of them together. Neither elimination nor enumeration is their fair to end. Not a coincidence. I happen to agree. But I have some other thoughts to share too. So they may have nothing to do with the next step in our reasoning. Are we willing to listen? I am listening. Earlier we broached the top of Ocean reproduction. It's a huge taboo for Ocenids to mimic and transform into one of their own kind just as it is for humans to create humans. But you see, humans can create humans through love. Go pursue eternity not through mystery, but love. What if, by some chance, this mysterious method of oscillating reproduction is accomplished through imagination and mimicry? Perhaps their regret or remorse gives birth uh, uh, to a thought, and as they imagine the path that could have been taken, a new ocean is born. That's a very interesting idea. We'll never know. After all, it's a secret passed down amongst Oceanids only. In any case, we'll begin once you're ready. Mm, let's begin. Then let's begin. No, a member of Narcissus Cross Order from several hundred years ago. Her whereabouts afterward are unknown. She is also the only other Ocean involved other than Anne. Okay. It's, again, it's more by more eight. I don't know why I can get this out of my mind. This will be relevant. This can really be foreshadowing, can it? Okay, so this is foreshadowing. Marianne, who would who wove a fair tale without landing? She refused our visit, but she mentioned her memories from the Season Cross Institute. She sounded like she was waiting for everyone to return to the Institute ruins. There was a Nurses and Cross Institute. The only person who grew up in the Narcissus Cross Institute and has a matching backstory is Marianne Guillotine. Marianne Guillotine's memories. Marianne has Marianne Guillotine's memories. The the memories of waiting in the ruins. The person who once waited within the deserted ruins for everyone's return was Lyris, the former director. Return Lyris memories. Marianne has Lyris memories. Marianne guillotine. The one that Seymour was supposed to protect. Something happened in Elena's, resulting in Seymour's damage in her disappearance. Where is she and what is her relationship to Marianne? 
associate so Marianne is lyrics yeah, but you can also say that can't we Marianne is that younger sister yeah she, she can't really put that uh, if so then Marianne is Marianne guillotine they have the same name and matching memories Marianne's lyrics if so then Marianne's lyrics another piece of evidence we have is that they can both use the alternate power to control the pulses. So say that the identities are contradictory. But how can she be both people at the same time? There's abilities. This must mean that Lyris and Ossanid probably has special powers. One. Dissolving the personality and will. Her job in the Ordo was to dissolve the members' egos. What would have happened between her and the Missy Mary and Guillotine? There is an end. For some reason, Lyris dissolved Mary and Guillotine's personality. Then afterward, the wills now mixed began to dream. What about other people they... she... The salt. They dreamed of a simple world where the princess is saved and the evil dragon gets killed, while the heroes are always pressing onwards. They dreamed of a world where everything was simple and he had an answer, as long as Anne was there. Thus, Anne and Mary Anne were born. But where is Lyris now? Uh, we put the pieces of the case that were floating all over the Audio Sea back together. It's just an empty box even after being put together, but we finally figured out what the last pearl should look like. Uh, what are you trying to say, Caterpillar? Wait, don't give my any hints, she's gonna figure this out on her own. We pieced together a good guess from the clues, but the truth is still unproven. Of course, my speech analysis module has determined that Miss Paimon is correct. Actually, I meant that we may never know the truth, but I'm afraid we have no choice but to accept this conjecture. So, Nainus, is this the secret of my birth? It's, I'm afraid I can't accept something like this right away. I understand, Miss Anne. It's a shocking fact. It will require you to accept yourself again. But I don't think it should be that difficult to do so. After all, knowing your past does not require abandoning everything you want about the present. I do not understand the specific context of this discussion, but I would like to add that I do not believe I am different from from how I was before suffering this damage. Even though you insist uh, on addressing me as silly dog, my identification number is still for a CV of 7. Uh, come on, it's not that serious. I promised that Inus that I would accept this conclusion as long as it's reasonable. Then I have a suggestion, one that will resolve Miss Anne's quandary and put stuff to nurses and cross planes. Narcissus and Cross. Narcissus and... Oh, Pyro remembers now. I mentioned him before. Caterpillar. Just who is he? Well, simply put, the leader of the Narcissus and Cross Ordo. Well, sounds like he's got an impressive resume. But isn't the Narcissus and Cross Ordo always up to no good? Wouldn't that make him the nastiest of the lot? Of course. During my time with my master, creator, and the other... Marshall's hunters, we devoted most of our time to hunting the Ordo down. As I said before, the goal of the Elinor's operation was to capture or eliminate the Narcissus Cross as well. However, my memory does not contain any intelligence regarding this, his involvement. 
that's a given, looking back at it now, he was merely using a zap bait. And I wasn't the only one. It, it was the same for Jacob, Lyris and many others in the Ordo. I'm afraid the alien's operation was probably never more than a red herring with the goal of leading you and Kilichin away to buy him more time to execute his true plans. Remember the Doomsday Clock I mentioned? It's what the Order considers the countdown to the Apocalypse, right? To be more precise, it's the Apocalypse as calculated by the world formula. The, this planet itself should survive just fine, though. The beasts of the stars shall drink the amniotic fluid of the world dry a hundred more years more, and all surface life shall be wiped away. Ah, oh, I should have done that before the main quest because they were locked together. Once life on the surface is wiped out, only that which is underwater will remain. Can a planet flow of fish eventually rise up to the ocean of stars? Uh, the thoughts of all terrestrial life going extinct is pretty spooky. But when you say things like that, it does give things a romantic ring. It's the heading of the uh, Yai Publishing House novel from a few years back. A mere body back to the village to learn how to paint. Oh, no wonder. Anyway, for myself and the others gathered here, though the Narcissian Cross Ordo is the source of all our troubles, its objective and Narcissian Cross' great purpose are actually completely selfless. He only took the actions he did because he calculated the coming of the apocalypse. He wishes to save the world. So, in the, so is the world really on the verge of destruction? I believe this to be a pathological delusion caused by paranoia. Were the apocalypse real, would you be able to forgive Narcissian Cross? No, it's a bit too early to consider such things. You have yet to understand what happened to you, Anne. And as for you, Seymour, your hostility is a result of your programming in the duties imposes. I suppose we must find the Holy Blade of Narcissian Cross. The Holy Blade of Narcissian Cross. I'm talking about the real one, of course. As much as it may be quite strange to say that the ceremonial sword of a match society is real. Don't we have the wooden sword from the dream? Maybe we could have tried using that to connect with the dream. Not only will it help us stop Narcissus cross planes, but its unique powers may be able to undo the merging of the wheels. We should be able to separate Lyris and Marianne. We'll cut and they will split in two. And then, Miss Anne, you can defeat the evil dragon, Narcissus, and res rescue Princess Lyris. Regardless, let's get moving first. That's the spirit. It might take some time to explain, so let's move out first, and I'll explain when we get there. Very true. Mm. Atmospheric uh, visibility is acceptable today. Enough that you can see that tower over there, yes? That I can? I passed by earlier, actually. Well, I just activated the portal there. That I can? The building was once known as the Narcissus Cross or to the Narcissus Cross Ordo as the Tower of Ipsissimus. Ipsis had to do it. Fish, don't it? 
Uh, maybe, I don't know. But we will later call it the Tower of Gestalt. It was named from the idea that things that have been separated need to be combined to display the original complete form. But I suppose I might be speaking reverse. The heart was complete to begin with, and the mistake was to divide it up for separate study. Paimon didn't get a thing you said. It's fine, don't worry about it. Plays on words are also a trick that mysterious organizations enjoy pulling. And what matters is what we must do next. Some of the vocabulary used is missing from my semantic indexes. I could not properly parse your meaning. But I understand the last sentence. Please tell me what I should do. When investigating alone, I found a map of the seal of chemical marriage. Chemical? Uh, you could say that I found four seals. Oh. Huh. And this tower is one of the locations. It's not the place we need to go. That said, though, who can be sure? Perhaps our destinies will make will yet take us there in the future. Either way, we need to use the position of the tower to locate the four places. That's why I've come here first. So, what are those four seals for? That said, We've discovered from experience that it's usually best practice to just break the seals and give whatever ring leader we find a good wall looping. Uh, as for me, I like to restore the holy blade of the season cross. Cool, a new weapon. The holy blade on the season cross. It's more of a ceremonial for ceremonial use, but it could be used as a weapon, I guess. Well, I suppose we could also just call it the answer. As I said before, the Narcissus Cross Ordo once had a ceremony to remove the ego and will. The whole village was used in the ritual. I remember something about that. The Lyris and Mariam wills created N, and if the old me was placed in some Hiltro's body. Uh, uh, wait a minute, didn't we already find the Holy Blade on the Narcissus Cross? What? Really? Look. A wooden sword. Is this wooden sword we found during our adventures? Uh, yes, so it is. And yeah, what kind of reaction is, this? is that? Perhaps you can think of it like this. That's a wooden sword found in an Assassin's Cross Institute, named the Holy Blade on a Assassin's Cross, that makes it more important than any ordinary wooden sword. Perhaps it might be of use when the time is right, just like the Holy Blade in the story. Really, you don't need to make us feel better. Got it, let's go. Anyway, assuming I looked at the map from the right angle, we will first we'll find the entrance to one of the seals nearby. Come on, all that was the intro! Damn it, why they make so long dialogues that lead nowhere? Uh, what's around here? Is there one around here? Yeah, then we're supposed to put anything on here. Yeah, I didn't get on here. No, I know how to mess with that. Let's begin. Oh. Right. 
I don't know, that was new. Oh no. Ah, oh, damn it. I use the thing from the. A moment, please. Bow your head. Solidify. Yeah. Away now. Oh. oh, isn't that where I will? Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, should return there afterwards. See if we can find anything from Curve. This place copper burns another stone tablet. Wait. What? Is still burning. No, it just put them off. Why the fire is here? This is just a ruin. Let me see what's written on the stone tablet. Lo, this place is the Orthanch of Memory, the Hall of Memory, the Room of Memory. Born in an instant. Nothing contradicting, your company is in eternal rest, never separated. Fire cannot burn it. Riddles, huh? Ancient Fontaine and civilization loved them. And the Narcissus and Cross Ordo enjoyed them too. I'm not sure if they were just into old stuff or if this was genuine interest. I have already tried keyword searches on all of them, but I have found no answers. But this riddle has already been solved. Maybe the answer has something to do with the bonfire. Is there any point in thinking about riddles that have already been solved? Yes, there is. Just like you and I are both like this now, but we, st we must still search out what happened in the past. You got a point. What do you think the answer is, Night Inus? I didn't really pay attention. But it's of Bityas, you know, like kidney stones and such. Also, in tears, shadow. Huh? Kidney stones, I don't know. Hot. It's true that fire don't don't strike them, but and they stay within our organs and, and tissues, but are, they aren't born in an instant, right? Ah, okay, so it's probably the shadows. They are formed by unhealthy dietary habitats over long periods of time, Miss Pymo. What do you think the answer is, Miss Inus? I think it's shadows. Also, any tears? I'll just pretend you try to say something romantic. That's obviously not the right answer. What do you think the answer is? Shadows. Yes, shadows. The instant being of light sh the instant being of light shines, a shadow is born. We know the answer, but someone's already opened the door, so what the what do we do now? We go inside now, of course. It's a race against time to see if we can find what we're looking for before the person who solved the riddle before us. Yeah, it's not like we just wasted a ridiculous amount of time with you guys thinking about inside there and then we talking for a long time before coming here. Oh, this seems big. Okay, let's check the center first. Um 
energy flow one in these ruins there are strange water colored energy flows that seem to follow established channels as they flow along additionally there are devices that can track and gather this energy flow the lifts large machines in middle ruins okay anything to cut it here <laughs> oh excerpt the water lose its incisiveness how shall we become water again if a tree leaves the soil where shall we go to take root? No matter how mighty stone may strike upon metal, humans cannot survive without water or soil. Copy from Echoes Hollow in Humble, Movement 9, Distance 37. A moment, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, no, let's check up there first.
Oh. Oh, we'll go upside down. I oh, know, maybe just flood it. Too. You carefully inspect the top of the mechanism, but you do not find anything. There's nothing here. It looks like something was here, but someone else took it. Wait, doesn't that mean that our planes already failed? The birth of reason requires the merging of the four orphans. Orthans. Uh, if we can get the rest of them, we still have a chance. In that case, we better hurry to the next area. Damn it. Oh, when did that happen? Everything returns. Is that looking glass? <laughs> oh. Gather! Order guide you! It's gonna get a little chilly. <laughs> Be sanctified. Here. Oh, this is also here. Mm -hmm. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening uh, okay, a treasure okay. chest has at least made it a worthwhile oh. experience. Oh, I thought I could have. Okay. Uh, I think. We're done here. Uh, let me just take a look at the the path that was leading here. Oh yes, I wouldn't be able to go back up without. Let's see. 
Oh, the machine isn't here anymore. Nor is his body. It would be nice if we could find something from Curve and bring it back to... I forgot her name. Um, let's go back there to... The looking glass. I can enter through here. I didn't notice this place doesn't work. Okay. So, uh, back there now. I think I marked that because I saw on the map that there was something. It was probably this quest. this that I might get in that but I found it rose writing yeah so there will be a few of those uh, a clear bottle with notes that contains a record of someone named Rose and the strange drawing in the back hmm uh, real names are of no consequence he roams the land of Fontaine which which he loves the most under the name Rose he he shall bring those who seek justice, equality, and hope together, and they will dedicate themselves to aiding those who have fallen into hardship and poverty. The world is full of inequity, poverty, and greed, and until the day all of this is wiped away, they will roam their beloved land, Fontaine. Having read his first friend, are you willing to take an oath and continue their work? If you share their ideals, find the wither tree with on which the fruit of wisdom grows. And there, as three times, receive Rose's honor and tribu tribute. Uh. Okay. Uh. Huh. Here. Okay. We'll take a look there afterwards. Uh, and now let's continue there. Stabilize!
Solidify! Huh, there's one here. Oh, is this crap down? Let's begin. Settle down. I will have order. A moment, please. I'd take it if I were you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. For her choice. Gather! Stabilize! Silence! Hmm, <laughs> there's one here as well. Barrels. Not bad. Oh. Mm, he can heal himself. Stabilize. Seal. Oh, there was something that I didn't really pay attention. Oh, shouldn't be more concerned with the person lying on the ground in your field of vision. <laughs> uh, what, what happened? My apologies, miss. I prioritized the search of the stone tablet. Allow me to conduct a scan now. My apologies, miss. What? Though he is still alive, the breath of life has escaped his body through the orifices. I've seen this hand work before. What? He's alive, but he doesn't have life? What? Uh, Pymo can look. We have to get help. We can't just leave him like this. Together, the leader and conscious man to Lumidos Harbor. The people there immediately take him to receive medical treatment, treatment, knowing that he is in good hands. You all return to where you were before. Alright, now let's have a look at this stone tablet. Lo, this place is the Orchid of Wishes, the Temple of Wishes, the Room of Wishes. Uh, often contradicting, 
born in an instant, your company in eternal rest, never separated. The tainted fruits of sin. Another riddle. Do I do something so scary here? Could it have something to do with the answer to the riddle? Well, Fontanians are sinners, life tainted with original sin. For this reason, the answer is life. I suppose I guess it already. Can you be sure that's the answer? Uh, I know the rhetoric of the uh, semiotics of the Narcissian Cross or the Walk too well. Bearing any surprises, that is the answer. Okay, it's time to make up for the last time. We need to hurry now. No, we lost already. There was that here that I didn't notice. Solidify! Let's begin. Yeah, that isn't quite right. There's a little bit higher. Huh. So what about that? Uh, well, I think I have to go for the lift. I'm afraid to touch the looking glass before. Ah, huh, this wasn't locked. How convenient. Oh, he enters through here? <laughs> Wasn't locked. How convenient. <laughs> 
Solidify! Bow your head. Hmm. Our way now. Have a safe trip. Settle down. Be sanctified. Can't you see already if there would be something for which to get there? <laughs> oh, ah, this will probably float. They don't get that. Somebody's diary. To think that we really did find Remurius ruins at the indicated location. But was there ever any doubt? Mr. Ingold was arranged for plans for an official construction project to be drawn up. The people from the Palais Memoria have already confirmed the location and the construction team has arrived. I suppose it was always better to report our deeds first rather than have them come knocking. The Marshal's hunters were called in to take charge of security. It might be too risky to, to think that this will completely allay their suspicions. Miss Calafia is not the sharpest tool in the shed, but she is still a disciple of. The Master and Mr. Ingold brought an Ossini to the as yet incomplete tower. The deeper meaning behind this um, when to seek an audience with the master and ask for advice. This time I only met Mr. Ingold. He seemed to be looking for something. According to Mr. Ingold, the master is performing the great ritual. He said it what it has to do with the celestial bodies and the primal fire. The details are not to be divulged or the sanctity of silence will be self on self driven wheel will be broken. Great focus and separation from the world must be maintained. For the time after this, Mr. Ingold will take charge of someone in the construction team has started spreading some strange rumors. Well, strictly speaking, those aren't rumors since. Unfortunately, Miss Calafia seems to consider their tales the result of the workers' prejudices against archaeological work. Maker State is reported to Mr. Ingold. After receiving the report, he organized help for the affected. Calafia seems to have called on someone. She even questioned Mr. Forsamuel to his face regarding the stone slates. Madame Lovo and Miss Lenormand were able to allay her suspicions, but it's only a matter of time before it gets to the Udex. The work is complete. Mr. Ingold, representing the master, gathered everyone to express. May the master's great ritual go smoothly. Since it's Mr. Ingold's saying it, I doubt there's any de deception here. Still, I do find this a little strange. Ms. Zenaida uh, came to see us in the dead of night. She claimed to be concerned about the master's whereabouts. As such, the third time something fell, she secretly used somebody something to perform divination. The results worry. She suspects that Mr. Ingold has not been truthful and seeks to gather high-level members to submit a public inquiry about to him. 
already prepared to a secret report. I should feign no committance and ask that she reconsider. After that, uh, my own divination said that the master is in the tower and hasn't left. After that, I should leverage Professor Griffin L. Randolph's social staining to release a cover story to the outside world. This risks of tedium, but it will buy our order some time. At least these nobles will make themselves useful for once. I probed Madame Laveau a little. She seemed unworried about the master. Her divination's return results similar to mine. The master is alive and well and is within the tower. Pyromancy, Hydromancy, Astromancy and... Necro? Monster? All give, gave the same results. Uh, well, it seems that Ms. Zeneda was simply fear-mongering. Uh, Ms. Zeneda and her supporters have abruptly left the Ordo. They left behind a single note, stating that they were disappointed with the future. Well, fair enough. After all, that something divination of hers seems to be nothing but the work of charlatans. It would be of no help to the Nurses and Cross ideals anyway. Mr. Ingold seemed somewhat disappointed. Out of curiosity, I divined Miss Zeneda's whereabouts. Something's wrong. They, those who left the order previously, are still within the tower. To the nation's message cannot be mistaken. I must speak to Mr. Ingold in person. Is this supposed to be necromancy? Maybe necro divination or something? Would you ask the dead for a to tell you the future? Do they know? Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. Oh, another one. Oh, so far they have been side paths, nothing required. Gather! This is order! It's gonna get a little chilly. Away now.
unclaimed article should be turned in. So, neither of us saw anything here, right? Okay, but there's still something I should use there. Where's the... No most uh, thing that I have to use. Maybe I had to bring one from the outside. Oh, it locks me. Oh. Okay, let's see if there's something here that I can take there. Except, unlike the barbarians or the witless creatures of the water, all our strength comes from our will. Our will is what is that which we share with the noblest gods. Just a flesh, as flesh is what we have in common with the barbarous beasts. Those who can truly use this wisdom may be able to forsake the bonds of flesh. And when they use their will to command, the rest shall bow down and listen. No. thing to break the block. Oh no no, I was clicking to release. Ah, go up.
No, look at that. Oh, it's not there yet. Oh, good. Oh, no. We came to the same one. Ah. wasn't locked. How convenient. Your car can spare the top of the mechanism, but it don't find anything. There's nothing here either. What exactly are we looking for, Caterpillar? We're looking for the materials necessary to forge the Holy Blade of Narcissus Cross. The order was able to reproduce the four requisite uh, hypothetical substances here in the material world. Based on the esoteric philosophies of the underground kingdom of an ancient fountain. I do not understand. These enigmatic substances are purely experimental. You could say they are even further beyond ordinary logic than elemental power. Uh, I entered all intermediate level textbooks from the Academia's Spandamat into my memory banks decades ago. There's nothing mysterious about elemental power. <laughs> uh, is that so? Anyway, to sum up, uh, this is born of the confluence of traditions from Fontaine and technology from the ancient underground kingdom. And thus, four types of substance came into being. Memory, wish, soul, and persona. To avoid any possible ambiguity, let's call then the memory piece, wish piece, soul piece, and persona piece. Why are they, these used to make the holy blade? In the Narcissus Cross or those brains, brain of mystical philosophy, the temple is a microcosm of the universe. The members are standings for the gods, and the holy oil is tempered willpower. The holy blade, on the other hand, is reason, that which cuts everything open. It can only be born out of consummate human will. Quite abstruse. That exoterism, that's exoterism for you. You attach yourself to anything that's, that looks similar enough. And when this sort of thing becomes magic, fiction becomes reality. Anyway, we should make our way to the next area now. Uh, hey, this one didn't flood. Ah. Oh. I was expecting to flood to climb up there.
Ah. Good. The hell. I'd take it if I were you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Well, couldn't they close that? Ah, uh, here. I entered this room. Uh, other day we was just getting chests around. And Paimon in the trailer had a short, weird conversation about something that did really seem important. I think there was a clock there I could get, but I didn't yet. A watch, pocket watch, I think. That's just a normal artifact. I have too much stuff here. I hate that about this game. So those are precious items. Question items. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They read that thing here. It barely touched the entrance and they come here. <laughs> uh, but I thought it had something to do with some quest that I did there. a crab or a jellyfish
special key. Served. Not only do we share the same resilient skin, but the same divine essence flows within our veins. As there is one wisdom, one melody, so too are all wills one comrades. We are the hands and legs, the shield and sword, roots and leaves, spring and stream. We should draw near to each other. Even unto outlanders must do must this be so. Cop from Song of Serenity. And you guys have to leave those things next to investigate next to something to read. The tides beckon. What was on the stained? Oh, that's new. What is that? I've never seen that. trial and do I get anything for that? I have to go back to the others and see if that thing showed up there. What was that? Oh, damn it. What was that? Uh, just so I don't forget, there was two or three here. Let's mark three, but I think it was only two. And here, I'm pretty sure it was the only one. Silence! 
a moment, please. I will have order. Solidify. Settle down. <clears throat> I'd take it if I were you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Place that here if you want to make me backtrack to check those things. This wasn't locked. Not convenient. <laughs> you carefully inspect the top of the mechanism, but don't find anything. Did someone take whatever was here too? Looks the way. Just who is Miss Jacob? Duh. We had an altercation with him inside Elena's once. Clarification recently, not once. When I saw the unfortunate victim at the gate, I knew it was his handwork. It seems he is still active after all. Then what does he mean does he want with the stuff he took from me? From oh, him. Simple, he took he too wants to reforge a holy blade on the Sissing Cross, and uh, the dream of the Order remains unrealized. Anyway, we should make our way to the final area now. Should I see the exit? Yeah, but there was no yellow power outside here.
Oh, damage. That. <laughs> uh, I just disabled two of those ones. And they were pretty useless. There wasn't anything to shoot around. So I didn't even thought about using it now. No, I think that's too high. No? Yeah, there it is. Mm, hang on, let's check the map he, he gave us. Oh, the torch. The bridge of glimmers of jade green light seems to have some kind of mysterious connection. The foggy forest path from Bruce's inspection appears so, so slowly. This bridge. Uh, I think I found that inside some chests around the map. Ah, okay, that would be the other one. I thought those were the place I had to go, but no, it's over here. This is the last place. Our search hasn't turned up anything so far. Very true. However, this entrance is shut, which means we still have a chance. Damn, you know, I'm curious. What would happen if I came here before the others? Uh, it makes sense lore-wise that we are one step behind him, and now he hasn't come here yet. But... What if I came here first? Looks like our adversary hasn't solved the riddle here. The inscription here reveals, never separated. Born in an instant, offer, often contradicting. Your company is eternal, your company eternal rest. And the last line is, the primordial drop. It's the thing I got from the Archon quest. Uh, the areas from before had riddles like this as well. Do you guys remember the answers? Shadow. Life. Love. Uh, the answers just keep getting more abstract, don't they? Can I feel the same or do you know the answer to this riddle? I think I have an idea concerning the first droplet. It sounds like a refresh... It's referring to the first raindrop that fell following the creation of the world. I believe this idea was involved with both the ancient fountain and the Ordo. But how are we supposed to find something like that? Well, this first droplet became part of all the water in Tivat. In that sense, every drop of water is the first droplet. It's like the first god spreading out the potential for greatness. An element of divinity is present in every person's body. 
but if that's simple, the person who came before us should have had no problem offering up the right answer. Indeed, I'm probably wrong. Well, even if it was the wrong answer, it was a good one. I can only conclude that the person who set up these riddles had no sense of romance. And now he's laughing at you for not getting how security works. I'm unable to provide an answer. My search for the first droplet retrieved 1200 results. Legend has it that the world's first drop of wine came to be when the animal got... <laughs> okay, can't stop there. We can give it a shot, let's go to Mondstadt. If you're gonna flog the horse, let's at least go about it the right way. Uh, about that, I think I have something I can share. There's a legend that said that Ossidus came from the first tear shed by the previous Ar Hydro Archon. Meanwhile, the first tear on Earth was shared by the first Ossinid after she came to understand humanity. Um, so, but the, the, there were humans already, and only after they were creating stuff and they understood humans that they shed the first tear, humans didn't cry before that. Wouldn't the first tear in the world have come from the first crying human baby. Animal tears are actually salt discharges, and in those peaceful times, humans breathed their first in laughter. That's what the legend says, anyway. Actually, I believe that the cries of babies and animal salt discharges can be regarded as similar on emotional behavior. Uh, babies cry due to external stimuli and to fill their lungs with air as quickly as possible. That is what the Sumeria Murta textbook says. Is that answer an answer need then? That does seem to be an answer that the person before us might not have provided. I think you're beating the horse here. No, I think we're on the right track. It should be strange to find an animal's god's wine. Um, based on my understanding of the Narcissan Cross Ordo, this makes logical sense. There are an empress who dreams in a place unknown, the dreamer who never says what they mean. That's even more confusing than the riddles. Well, does that matter? We are already at the final juncture. Whatever the case, the answer will come to light at the end. Now then, and if you wouldn't mind. Sure, I'll give it a try, but... Do come up with another answer quickly if I fail, alright? It opened. Uh, we have to get the last piece, otherwise the Holy Blade will fall into the Ordo's hands. But we still have to fight the guy anyway to get the pieces he got, so we can forge our sword. But I kinda like having the wooden sword in the inventory. I'm not sure if it will reforge it. Bro, although we got that from a dream-like thing, so maybe this isn't really real. Oh, Remus, player of the Grand Symphony, king of all worlds. Your music is heard across the heavens, it resounds throughout the earth. When Sibylla's golden bee gives you a warning, O oh, merciful one grants us eternal life. Proclaim the sacred monument that it should be praised for all eternity. Copies from the third hymn. Let's enter here, maybe this will take me there. Otherwise, I'll get there when I'm on my way out. Hey, have you seen a Gather. red fish thing? Bow your head. Have a sick trip. <laughs>
Privates. Let's begin. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. I think I saw a little <laughs> glow here. Damage. There's a puzzle with that. Hmm. Yeah, it helps it. I thought it was open. Okay, but let me mark it here, because I want to get it there. So far, one. Already. Okay, so here I think would be the opposite. I will drain the water.
Hey, where's everybody? Settle down. Stay uh. cool and face your guilt. The tides beckon. Order guide you. Time for your arraignment. My way now. Bow your head. Stop, stop. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first. So, it's legally yours now. Oh, I would need one. That's back here. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile experience. Yeah, I almost missed it. That closed. Aye, that's it already. Is that the persona piece ahead? Unable uh, to analyze the density of the substance before us, it appears to have a mass of zero. It looks like we've got the last piece. We should at least be able to negotiate a bit with our position now. On the bright side, at least we can stop the Narcissus and cross Ordo from forging the Holy Blade. Uh, not at all, Paimo. Our final goal is to forge the Holy Blade ourselves and use it to stop their plan. Of course, and I have not forgotten what this sword means to you. A holy sword that can cut out the will is also your key to unveiling the mystery. And to be honest, it is equally important to me as well. It's just that we have more important, more pressing matters at hand. Would you mind then if we looked into the mystery surrounding us later? I'm fine with that. In that case, Enos, please take this persona with you, if you would. Ah, that was the closed path. Uh, I suppose... Yeah, there's everything here now. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's not the 
Wait. Oh, I didn't get that yet. I thought he had it. Oh, good, I didn't take. Suppose can take me you know, save my our invitation. Oh, what just happened? Someone says something, and then we are separated from Caterpillar and the others. Well, where are we being sent? Okay, that's pretty cool. That was unexpected. Again, to the tower. Thought that's why sounds familiar. Where are we? Have you heard it before? It's probably Jacob. Yeah, but that was not cool. What if I grabbed that before opening the chest? Top of the tower of Gestalt's place. We're separated from Caterpillar and and Seymour. What should we do? It looks like there are traps waiting down below. There are? Things haven't got a series yet. Let's check out the scenery. It's not dangerous yet. Let's count some prime numbers. Uh -huh. uh, come on, you should have at least a little sense of urgency. We can't fly from here. Paimon knows you're a good fighter, but Paimon's worried about the others. But our only choice is to keep going. Oh, is that the entrance? If there's any traps, just smash them. There's a note on the ground. Notice. In accordance with Fontainian law and the provisional national something provisions, as well as the Mermonia Act number one something two, the Narcissan Gross Order is declared an illegal extremist group and a criminal organization. This location will be permanently sealed from this day forth. Yeah, so we probably should have asked something to Novlet and Farina because the, the order was known. Destroying this something board will be seen as a challenge to national authority. The violators will be public sentenced to charges of something. Date something. The reverse side has the seal of the court and signatures of Allen Guillotine and Novlet. Yeah, we should ask Novlet about it. <laughs> Can go, because it may be a pain to get up here in the future. Uh, damage. <laughs> higher yeah we are looking there I'm not sure if this is higher because Fontaine is already higher maybe this is taller than Dragon Spine yeah I don't think we can see that clear from the top of the Dragon Spine can we Uh, I think Nazuma is all blocked here. Wow, but it's pretty cool. The magic tree, the pyramid, some marrow, the... Melusines oh, are beautiful house. creatures. They are the pride of Fontaine. Be sure to be... Sh and Celestia. Uh, let me see, is that over there in Azuma? Mm. 
no. I was thinking maybe testing that would be Nazuba, but no. Uh, I guess Nazuba is more over there and we can't see it. Cool. Yeah, so. Um, damage. I'm kind of curious if. I'm curious. I can't just drop down. Uh, damage. <laughs> damage. Uh, let's go back there and try to use that thing as a teleport again. spoke about yeah when they said about the first drop I thought it was that they were talking about Seriously, I shouldn't have jumped from up there. I wanted to test. I thought maybe it would just fade out like when I jump in an endless pit on a domain. Must reach the lowest level before the arrival of the apocalypse. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe that would take me up there. Ah, oh, good. And that will be a domain, even though I can enter on lower levels. Ooh, so it could just be... The Narcissus and Cross Ordo. Ah, uh, yeah, before we were like inside a book. I find it kind of odd that uh, Seymour could get in there. He doesn't really have a mind, does he? I was worried the master's clock might break down at crucial moments, so I came to do a bit of maintenance. Uh, what took you so long? I've even had time to finish the anti-rust treatment and oil it up. The voice that's the voice we heard earlier. You are the purple dude. I told you, just call me Jacob. How did you set up this trap? Hey! Did he have a mustache? Did he have a mustache? I thought he had a mustache. Uh, I believe the persona section to be the most important, for there lies the persona ex excised by Master Narcissus Crossing himself. Only a drop of water from an oceanid can open it. I cannot allow it to be taken by just an ignorant adventurer, but not eager. So I set up a trap before activating the Ortens and seal the space off. Why are you here? Why shouldn't I be here? This is an assistant cross Ordo base. Is there something wrong with returning to my own base? Ah, so there are more than one base. The other one in the book is a different. You're the ones who are trespassing. Don't you feel even a twinkle of guilt? For breaking the law? Well, you were out loud, and you were the one who brought us here, so we're not trespassing. Uh, this was once the realm of a god, now a pheasant sits upon the throne, just like the world today. 
Uh, as compensation, give me the rest of your paints and the persona I need. I have paints with me. I refuse. We beat you once. Even now, at a time like this, just what are you so hung up on? The countdown to the world's end has started. And I must forge a whole blade and place it in my master's hand. Where is he? Is our assistant cross this master of yours? Indeed, according to his world formula, the second deluge is looming before us. When it comes, we will only he will be able to save the world. The second so there's supposed to be another one, not the one we just let happen. <laughs> uh, only by forging the holy blade can he continue his unfinished work, gathering the wills of everyone in Fontaine, the continent, and even the entire planet unto himself. As the primordial sea returns once more, and as the devourer of all dark against the sky, only he who is whole unto himself may survive. Only then will all of our souls, nay, all of humanity's souls, be spared from destruction. We will welcome a new dawn in a tranquil sea of innocence he grants us. So these are big plans save the world. It sounds like you're just bundling everyone's consciousness together without consent. And what would you know of anything? Only Master Narcissus Cross new body will survive the coming of a second language. Even if all other life disappears into the sea, he will survive alone, he will remember all those lives that were lost, he will recognize the value and quality of all life, a selflessness that shall not be besmirched by one such as you. So where is he now? In the deepest depths beneath us. When the thugs and dogs of Fontaine surrounded us and attempted to wipe us out, he descended alone into the abyss below. But he must still be alive, and the time for his return is nigh. Quickly, give me what you have on you, then I will have all the orphans, and you may leave. How about this? I will trade you this rust treatment and oil. Think of it as a gift for the foolish dog. Uh, in the dawn of the new world, it is unlikely there will be a place for it or guillotine's fantasies. I refuse, the world is not as weak as you think. That's right, Pymoignus have seen more crises than you eating lots of flour crisps, and we always come out on top. Truly, there's no reaching your exalted heights. I remember how the master used to pretend to be an evil dragon when we played as children. Who would have thought that he would become the hero while the real evil dragons would come at us one after another? Guillotine may have disappeared, but here his successors come, self-assured, thinking themselves totally infallible. What the heck are we talking about? The time has come, a century ago, the prophets predicted all, he will return. Uh, if you will not give me what I need willingly, I will take it myself. It's not like I haven't beaten your ass before. Did I have John Lee in no ledge now, so... Not having a time Solidify. limit. I can do anything. A moment, please. Let the mighty be humble. You guys are already tiny. No, I don't need you guys. Because I forgot that you show there are monster being very fit of memory and wisdom. I have remembered your origin. The master will give you the intelligence, the weakest not found, uh, and you a machine. Your memories are not but carvings on gemstones. The reason is to by my tape, which years of this way. It's right, it was before. This time you will turn you a little more shards. Okay. It's hard to read and fight at the same time. Let's begin. Silence. There's gonna be a pillar 
uh, on the scene, right? Ah, uh, no, it's okay to see. Uh, uh, it's been a while, Chrysalis. It's still no sign of metamorphosis, I see. Perhaps you've grown too used to being a caterpillar. Uh, have you already forgotten the time we spent here? Uh, it was a brief time compared to our eternity, but those brief moments granted us mastery of this universe. It was nothing more than your exhibit at the time, nor could I understand your great plans. Plus, I tend to have a bad memory for things I don't like. But on your return, you performed the dispelling ritual. How fastidious of you. Of course. How could I allow spiritual impurities or contaminants into the master's space? Unless you have not yet left your cocoon, you will return to the void in the end. There is no place for you in the new world. Hand over the rest of it. If I shall permit it. It seems it is you who are the hero wielding the holy, holy blade in this telling of the story. Why, I am the dragon who falls through surge. Emir is not in the end, all the elements are in place and the dragon has been defeated. You may guard reason for now. No, there are four, three pieces you need to give me. After all, nobody can truly own the holy blade. We merely hold it as it travels in the direction it must, until it reaches its final destiny. The holy blade can be any object. But there is particular symbolism in it being a surge. Well, then presents something that can hold reason. Uh, let's use the Holy Blade Resistance Cross font earlier. Not. You already know that. This is. What's next, Jacob? Uh, mm. Don't you want to reforge the Holy Blade as soon as possible? Next, you also need. You touch the sword. Is this a trap? No. Although the Holy Blade can part any wheel from water, it can also unite wheels. It can accommodate both the primordial and that of order. You have been chosen because even if you are an illusion, you contain something that the Narcissus Cross Ordo has granted, granted over many years. The power of will. Should we trust him? His biological indicators show a very low probability of lying, although I remain doubtful. How long must you dawdle? You are no better than the rusty shell guillotine created. Would you like some oil for your brain or rust remover? Speaking of rust remover, what about it? The watch? Yeah, we can try using rust remover on the watch. What nonsense are you going on about? Adults should interrupt children. Hmm? Uh, am I a child too? Oh, it's open. Uh, I think, I think that's the thing I got there, but I... I don't think I had to get that. It's open. I and mean, there is a photo inside. And how nostalgic. Alan, Rene, Director Lyris, Marianne, and myself. As we were once. I remember this photo. I think I remember. Machine trace detected. That is Marianne, my ward. Well, has the oil helped upgrade the rust decision making skills? If we don't take this step, we'll never be able to leave the world of memory. Yeah, let me give it a try then. And? It's okay, I made up my mind. Whoa. Oh, cool, it's different. Is that the Holy Blade on your season cross? Is real like? This will also be a level 1 blade that cannot be refined. Weren't you listening? Caterpillar just explained that the Holy Blade can in indwell. Uh, any form of the whole significance. And uh, just like the Holy Blade on Assassin's Cross imagined. You change back. 
Uh, very good. My mission is complete. Now I propose a trade. Now you, Osunit. Please take all my emotions and memories. Huh? My power is no match for yours. I will soon disappear. Save all that I am. That I may be reunited with everyone in the new world. Seems like he's not up to date with the latest news. Yeah, I think that dialogue is because I passed the Archon quest. But... We established several nodes in Fontaine in accordance with the seal of chemical marriage as part of our response to the apocalypse. Today only five most only the five most important survive. Only the smallest part of our master's plan has been implemented, but even that is a form of success. The arrival of the new world is fated. I I cannot absorb your persona in memories, after all I have no wish to retain anyone as with such serious sins on their hands as you are now. Huh? You may no longer be the crybaby Jacob, but as you are now, you are still not worthy of eternity. Rather than do that, we will help you and treat you. You must atone for your sins. Part of the Red Empress is within you, so you should know that she rejected the future. She wanted to return to the Narcissus Cross Institute as it was, and watch again as we pretended to be the Narcissus Cross Adventure Team. Beautiful memories are the only eternity in this world. There are no others. Uh, granted to me, O oh, being of eternity. I do not wish to so. And I will persuade the part of Lyris too. The point in time has come. It seems the watch wound up running a little fast even over the course of the century. What's going on here? I have reversed the seal of chemical marriage and reforged the holy plate of reason. The truth of the world formula has been proven. The seal of chemical marriage was an ancient Fultanian ritual meant to seal off the source of life. Now it has been reversed and all has been set free once more. That's insane, the primordial sea. Wait, back in the fortress of Merope, the primordial sea was... Now it's time for a master... No, for Rene to return. He will break the seal and control the source of source of life. The pure water of life will inundate the world as he rises once more, giving birth to a new universe. Well, that will ruin Fontaine, but they did fight in the last. <laughs> the people did fight the last flood. All souls will be preserved forever, and the blade of will shall fall into the waters and be grasped by its legitimate owner. All will be united as one, and gain the power to combat the apocalypse. Check up. I read anticipated the end of, for this body, the clock may stop and its hand falls still. It may take Master a little time to find my will in the new world, but do not worry, we will meet there again. Check up. To follow him. Uh, what a terrible ending, but I fear there's little time for mourning or lamentation. Everything now hangs by thread. Uh, if my sense of direction is right, I'm afraid the interior of the Tower of Gaston is below us now. You've never been there, Caterpillar. It is the closest point to Master's ultimate goal, I do not believe many have been there. That means we don't know what we'll find there. I'm ashamed to admit it, but yes. What? What is all this? What? Warning, abnormal environmental changes detected. Someone can see that just fine. It seems we don't have much time, let's get to work quickly, before Jacob's new world becomes a reality. Oh. 
No, I wanted to check. Ah, there's a key item. Ah, okay, that's guillotine. He will become an inventor. So that's the Narcissan Cross. Yeah, but he. What's his name? I don't remember. Because Narcissan was the name he took for himself. It was the name of the institute before. I thought this would be a blade here. Well, it's to, exercise, to exercise the self is not to die, but rather to die before death. That way, there is no life to be ended. Thus, may one achieve eternity. This time is vital, for by this, one may avoid receiving a vision by some error. To receive a vision, to sell oneself to the fate of this world, to remain, and to evermore lose the chance to walk the correct path. Yo, yo, pen, that which lies beneath is the great sea. The purpose of this line is the ritual scripture. In the ritual scripture is to forsake the self and sink into the abyss. And in the abyss to welcome rebirth as a holy infant. The origin of this is a trash of unknown provenance that has been passed down by persons unknown to this day. The same play is called Ajax or Ajax. Ayas. He was the second strongest warrior in his alliance. Uh, lies beneath the great sea is itself an interesting phrase. It comes from an ancient Sumeru text. It, sh it should be read as Narayana, which also means primordial human. This too is my goal, for not all that comes from beyond may be as one for not all that comes from beyond may be as one that descends. The title belongs only to wills that can rival the entire world. That is what I seek, and the way to become just such a will, one that can protect the world, sustain the world, destroy the world, and create the world. I thought I could jump. Uh, what a huge mechanical core. How shall we descend? An optical coupling design, is it? It looks like we need to get other rays to hit their targets. So how do we do that? There must be some kind of equipment nearby. I'll have a look around. Oh, Act 2. Okay, I made it here and I'll come back next time. Okay, this may take quite a while still. Uh, where's the crack that was in the middle of the room? But all right, this is the main. I can I can teleport here at any time. Good, great. Uh, let me just try for a Farina or Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm out.